Hey you guys, uh, this is uh, Mark Lauer's show. I'm sitting here in my 2018 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna talk about wireless CarPlay. I do have it working in my vehicle. Uh, my previous vehicle, I had an aftermarket Pioneer radio with wireless CarPlay and I had that for about two and a half, three years. I loved it and I, I need that feature in this vehicle. Uh, many of you on the uh, Honda Ridgeline Owners Club have been talking about the uh, Car Linkit 2.0 uh, and it not working. Uh, I did get that device to work last year on my girlfriend's 2019 Honda Accord. And it works pretty good with the one exception that uh, when you're doing phone calls through wireless CarPlay, it adds about two to two and a half seconds of delay going both directions in the phone call. Uh, which is very annoying. It causes us to talk over each other a lot, and uh, I didn't want that happening in this vehicle. So I did some research, and I found another product by a company called uh, Joy Auto. Uh, they make a product called the MMB Plus, and I have that uh, installed down here. I have it uh, taped up with two-sided tape, plugged into the USB, and uh, for the most part, it works. I would say 98, 99% of the time, it works, but there are a few flaws in the design. It doesn't work perfectly. So I'm gonna show this to you now. Uh, my first uh, major issue with it is, uh, sometimes it takes over two minutes for it to connect. And on an aftermarket wireless uh, unit like I used to have, uh, it took less than 30 seconds. So uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go through that routine. Uh, sometimes it connects quickly though. Sometimes it can connect in 30 seconds. Uh, so I don't know why there's such inconsistency with this product, but I don't believe the uh, Honda uh, radio plays perfectly nice with this device, but they do work. Um, and uh, when they do work, I will say that visually, pixel for pixel, it's identical to wired CarPlay. Uh, sonically, the audio quality of any given audio app you're using uh, whether it's Apple Music or Spotify or any of the others, uh, they all sound just as good wirelessly. So for the most part, uh, this device has solved uh, my issues uh, in needing wireless CarPlay. So, uh, you know, it works good, but it's not a perfect solution. As you can see right now, it is taking some time to connect, which, you know, is a bummer. Uh, you know, I tried making a few of these videos before and I flubbed up. And in those videos, it launched in 30 seconds. But of course, we are waiting, I'm thinking, well over a minute now. Uh, so I am going to demonstrate the pluses and the flaws here in this quick little video. But uh, here we are. Uh, and I was last listening to some music on CarPlay. But as you can see, once it connects, it is CarPlay like you would expect it to be, just like when it's wired. Uh, and, uh, you know, all the apps work, including, you know, Apple Maps and uh, Waze and Google Maps. So you get the full package. Uh, but, uh, you know, aside from the long boot up, uh, one other small flaw is sometimes when Apple Park CarPlay comes up, it comes up all stretched out of shape or the screen's completely black. And then what you got to do is hit the home button and then go back to CarPlay. Uh, and then it's fine. So that... You know, the long boot up and the little image mismatch upon first boot are two of the smaller problems. Uh, and then the other two problems are both very similar and uh, probably essentially the same problem. Uh, but uh, the the problem is, um, w is when you're leaving CarPlay idle. As in, if I'm not playing any music through any of the music apps, if I'm not using uh, Maps or any of the other uh, navigation options, uh, and, and it's just sitting here. Um, the first time you have a problem with this idleness, I, I would say, or what it leads to the problem, is when I put it in reverse after driving a while, say I drove to work, and now I'm parallel parking at work. Uh, when I come back out of reverse into park or drive, uh, there's a different screen here, and it's the screen that you would normally see when you're first setting up the relationship between the phone and uh, the MMB Plus. And you've got to say, you know, connect to the phone again, which phone and all that jazz. And uh, normally I just ignore that uh, because I'm parking. I turn the vehicle off, come back. The next time I turn the vehicle on, it's back to normal. So not the end of the world. The other time this happens is when a car plays idle, 
I'm not doing anything with it, and I decide I want to listen to FM or XM, uh, Sirius Radio, and while I'm using those features on the Honda radio, and I'm like, you know, I should have had a text message from my friend about meeting up later. I switch back to CarPlay, and it's not connected, and I got to go through that two-minute process all over again. But other than that, you know, it works pretty good. I use CarPlay pretty exclusively. Uh, I'm an alternative uh, rock kind of guy, and the, the FM uh, market here is all screwed up for rock, so it's just easier to get my rock and roll fix through Apple Music or iHeartRadio, and I can get the local radio stations between iHeartRadio Odyssey, and Odyssey. And then um, also I found that the sound quality of streaming XM uh, through the app is actually better uh, than the sound quality you get just using Sirius XM on the Honda radio as they provide it. So, uh, yeah, for the most part, this works really, really well for me, uh, even with those flaws. Uh, the other thing I will say, setting this up was not, was not perfect. Um, uh, you know, it came, uh, one software firmware generation behind the latest that was on the website. Um, so even though this was working, I'm like, hey, maybe it'll work even better with uh, the latest firmware update. So I installed the um, I installed the software and uh, it didn't work right at all. So I had to roll it back uh, software firmware version. Um, and uh, it came with uh, the January 2021 uh, software firmware and I updated it to the March 25th firmware software up there software, uh, firmware, and that's where I had real problems. And uh, rolling it back is not easy um, because basically it's not meant to be rolled back. Uh, so what I did was I downloaded the January firmware software and I used the instructions, <laughs> believe it or not, from the March firmware software uh, update to roll it back. So um, oh, I just clicked on the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I wanted to show you guys uh, you know, this is the plus a version of their hardware. Uh, and that's also supposed to come with what they call MediaCast, which allows you to mirror things like YouTube or Netflix to your uh, Honda radio. And because uh, this isn't a match made in heaven per se between uh, this MMB plus and the Ridgeline radio, uh, these plus features do not work. Uh, if anyone could figure out how they work, I'd be happy to know. But as of right now, I, I can't watch YouTube uh, wirelessly. But uh, And before I get into this too far, the other thing I wanted to say is there is no two-second delay on phone calls going both ways. I can talk on the phone just as good as wired with this. <laughs> so I left that out earlier. Uh, the thing I am going into there, uh, this extra layer of uh, business here uh, with the MMB Plus is I wanted to show you where to find the latest firmware. And this is what's important for you to see uh, is this is the version that works with the Ridgeline. Uh, and this is, I believe this came out in January, if I'm not mistaken. If your unit comes with the later firmware and you need to roll it back, Download, uh, I think, the January version, but follow the instructions for install from the uh, March version, which is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, I have working CarPlay uh, wirelessly. So I hope this helps. Uh, enjoy, and uh, thanks.